to another episode of the High Level Release Radar, where we recap all the latest and greatest from the week here at High Level. Ryan, happy Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th. Uh, it's a weird day, but we're going to get through it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to queue up like Friday the 13th theme song, and I'm like, oh, that's not even one that people really know. I know, it's we're not too very old. iconic. But we've got a great week's worth of releases here. Let me share the stream real quick uh, into the community, and we'll hop into those releases. As always, if you can see us and you can hear us, please let us know. Drop a comment below. Say hello. Uh, we love to see all of your faces and your comments. And we should be live into the group. All right, Ryan, a little lighter on this week. Uh, yeah, there's a reason week. for that. Well, it was a heavy week. It's just there's some things we can't really talk about. Um, Why yeah. is that? Well, uh, if you didn't know, we've got the summit coming up. And in the summit, we have a level up day where we release some super awesome uh, new features and enhancements to the system. And, uh, you know, we, we just we want to hold it back. You know, we want to build some anticipation. So... Um, that's right. as a result we're still working hard we still got stuff going on but um there's a lot that's going to be held back so that's right but that doesn't mean there aren't releases coming out every day there are uh some of them we publicize some of them are easter eggs that some of you i've seen are finding slowly uh which is cool but some of them are so cool and there's been so much work that's gone into them we will save them for level up which is right around the corner um, and there are a lot of awesome features that have you know level up is the deadline so they're not quite ready yet but they will be by the time we go live at the summit um let's hop into the releases this week first up whoa very cool one mobile app got call function enhancements um in regard to some wearables yeah so wear os if you're a wear os fan uh there's now support for that which looks really cool there uh, brings in the icon and everything uh, and then also in the mobile app, there's a new minimized view. So if you're if you want to go through some information, uh, you know, kind of like look at either um, you know the opportunities or look at some con some notes from a contact, uh, the the call can get minimized up there to the top of the screen. This is just looking at the top, obviously, and you can kind of go about your business um, while you're on the phone, which is a really great enhancement uh, to have at your fingertips there. Absolutely. Pretty sweet. Uh, we've got some comments coming in. Dave, what's happening? Happy Friday to you. And we've got, I'm missing the town halls. Yes, they are on Paul's um, until the summit. And then after the summit, we will resume, of course, better than ever. But thanks. We miss you too. We miss you too. Absolutely. Ryan misses his daily town halls big time. Update number two, also for the mobile app, we have recurring invoices using the point of sale system. You want to walk us through this one? Yeah. So before we could create invoices or, you know, kind of use templates in that uh, within the, the mobile POS. And now we've got support if you've got recurring invoices. Um, so bringing more parity to that with the web platform. Of course, that's the goal is that almost anything you can do on the web app, you should be able to do in the mobile app. And recurring invoices are a huge part of that. You could think, you know, service contracts for HVAC systems, stuff like that. Um, so super awesome to be able to spin that up on the go uh, when you're performing a service or at an event or what have you. And you've got that right there as well. Absolutely. Um, if you don't have the mobile app downloaded, please go and download it. You can download it. You'll find it in the app stores as high level, also as lead connector. Either one, download it. You can sign in with the same credentials you use to sign into high level at your normal account. Um, it is an awesome experience these days. As you can see, the UX is beautiful. And like Ryan said, we're getting super close to parity. Everything you could do on the one side, you could do on the other, um, including awesome stuff like this. Ryan, we got a question here about that last slide. Is it watch OS and Android or Android only? Uh, so that's Android. Wear OS is an Android uh I, I think it's Samsung. I don't know. I'm not an Android person, so I'm not the best person to ask, but I know that Wear OS is an Android wearable operating system. Um, so the focus on that release was was for Android stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. Next update, client portal. We have contacts integration. 
Yeah. So this is really cool. Um, there, there's kind of this, you know, there's, there's two systems almost you've got courses and, and memberships and that. And then we have the client portal, which has the communities and then the courses can get brought into the communities as well under the learning tab. And now there's a connection between the contact screen, what you're seeing on the contact screen, uh, so that you can see where people are and, you know, move them in and out, um, manually and, and at least, you know, kind of see where they're at on the contact record itself. Yes. So that's pretty cool. It has its own like section there. Like you're used to managing offers and, uh, what else can you grant people access to over there? Groups, groups, um, opportunities. Yeah. Stuff like that. Now you've got a dedicated section for the client portal, um, which is pretty sweet. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Next update, we've got WhatsApp onboarding flow got updated. This one's nice. I'm assuming we probably have a couple of screens. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, I put in three or four um, to kind of walk you through it. But yeah, really much better, uh, you know, improved onboarding flow. WhatsApp is is getting better and better. Uh, this has been talked about, so we can kind of, we can tease it. But um, coexistence, which is a big word, um, is coming as soon as possible. We, I think we actually kind of moved meta on this and convinced them that this <laughs> is something that we really need, which would be that you don't have to abandon the, the use of WhatsApp on the, on the web app or, or that just to use it in high level that they can coexist at the ex exact same time. And as soon as that's available for some, a lot of countries, uh, we're going to be dropping that here pretty soon. I think it's more of a Q4 thing, but, um, they're hard at work at that. And, uh, you know, we're, we're telling Meta what's up, you know. <laughs> That's right. We uh, we actually got into the beta, and which is opening up, I think, very soon, maybe next week or something. It's a super limited beta. Uh, Meta said, "Yep, give us a couple of your customers. We'll get them in." And then, yeah, Q4, Q1 is when it should roll out to the first big list of countries, um, which is going to be awesome. So it's not available anywhere outside of high level yet either. Um, but we are in the beta now and, uh, yeah, really looking forward to coexist. That's going to be awesome. WhatsApp got another cool update though. We can now schedule the messages. So you don't have to send them right away. You could write it up and say, Hey, I want this WhatsApp to go out tomorrow or whenever. Yeah. Pretty nice little parody feature. We can do that with SMS already. Mm -hmm. Um, this one's cool. So WordPress gets granular user permissions. Um, and I saw Ryan uh, fighting for the people in Slack the other day to make it even more granular. Yeah, that, and this is based on feedback from the town halls. Like we we do listen to you, uh, <laughs> and um, I know that there's like in WP Engine some other competitors where you'd be doing WordPress hosting. You can have even more granularity in terms of who gets access to what environments. If, if you know what that means, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but at least we've got kind of this main one here so that we can control users having the ability to access and manage WordPress sites. I think, uh, you know, a lot of people wanted to lock that down because you could inadvertently do some damage there. Uh, and so that's that's now out. So, yeah, really stoked to have at least. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely the big one. Um, and yeah. I think the, the more granular stuff will be nice to have for sure. Uh, Ryan will champion that cause for us there. But yep, WordPress is now a part of the granular permission set that you can control. Um, reputation management got a little update here. This one's nice. Um, we get failed message notifications. So if you're sending review requests and they're not delivering, it used to just say failed and you didn't know why. Now you can hover over it and it'll give you more context there, which is nice. Yeah. Love this one. Love knowing what's going on. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, community's got an update. Merge contact support. I didn't even see this one. What do we got here? Yeah. So before this, I'm just kind of connecting these two dots. So if you do, a, if you merge contacts in the contact screen, and then you go to the next slide, you'll see kind of the before and after, which is before it would have this like weird, you know, uh, appendix to the name. And now it just says the same name, all the comments will line up and, and so forth. Uh, so it fixes an issue there where you're trying to dedupe, but it would mess up what it looked like on uh, in communities. Uh, so they're they're making that automatically oh. work way better now, so that everything actually gets merged the way it ought to. There's some more more functionality coming to that too in regards to um, I'm forgetting right now, but the, there's there's other things in there that aren't quite matching up, and they're they're working on that as well. So. In the end, we're getting very, very close to, if you have duplicate contacts, it's not gonna screw up anything when you merge them together within communities. 
Nice. Got it. So that one's yeah. more of a cleanup update there. Yeah. Um, we've got some other enhancements that went live this week. Online listings, sub-account specific availability regardless of agency location. That yeah. one's a mouthful. What do we got it, there? <laughs> this one was, it took me a second to wrap my head around it. But if there's, if you have an agency, let's say, and it's in a location or a country or what have you, that is not supported by Yext, before what would happen is that sub accounts wouldn't be able to use Yext. But let's say you had a sub account that was in the US, uh, let's say, and it, it was a supported country. Um, now that they can now sign up for Yext in the online listings. Uh, so it kind of decouples the dependency there um, and just looks at the sub account. So a little bit of a mm -hmm. bug fix, but I'm sure there's a lot of folks that um, were kind of frustrated by that and that's now resolved. Nice. Um, the other enhancement, the phone system has multilingual support now. So you can train those apps. Those pages have been translated. You can switch the language um, there. And that in general, I think is a pretty big update. So I've seen, you know, we took a stab at internationalizing the app in some languages and it wasn't definitely wasn't a hundred percent. Right. I, I saw lots of people saying like, Hey, in Spanish, like we use the English word funnel for funnel, not like a car funnel. That sounds really weird. And there was a bunch of stuff like that. So we actually went and partnered with a third party who does this. That's all they do. And they're now redoing all the translations. So they should be flawless. Um, I think there's like 12 languages that um, are happening right now. And then we'll continue to roll out more after that. So if you are, um, using the app in another language, you should see it get better, the translations. And if you're waiting for a language, let us know so that we can put it on the list for sure. Um, because we are super excited to make Hollywood available in as many languages as possible. Yeah. All right. That was a quick week on public releases. Ryan has put together here some unclassified upcoming releases coming soon that we're excited about. Let's see what we can talk about here. Um, did you get the green light on all these, Ryan? A little well, they've, they've been discussed elsewhere, so <laughs> okay. Hopefully, we're coming gonna... soon. Sell your snapshots. So, this is yep. snapshots in Marketplace, right? Yeah, so, um, th yeah, this has been probably discussed if you've been on some town halls and that, but. It's the idea that you create an app that's actually a snapshot and then you can resell it. Now, the groundwork for this was laid um, in protecting the IP. So in other words, uh, we have a system that basically looks at all the assets, it hashes uh, all those values and it protects them so that people can't take snapshots that people work super hard on and then recreate them. Or at least, you know, it's not 100%, but it's as, it makes it as hard as possible to steal content. Um, and so, this is the next step and be able to package that into an app that is, as you can see here, a snapshot you can choose and be able to make money on it. Because a lot of people spend a ton of time putting together these snapshots and they're very valuable. They get people started really quick um, in very specific niche industries. And so that's kind of the next step there. Awesome. That's pretty exciting. I know a lot of people want to sell what they've built. Um, coming soon, sell widgets. Yeah. So sell widgets, is that the correct label there? Yeah. Oh. So sell widgets. So you can build, you can kind of, there's some code in there. You can build widgets that could then be placed into uh, funnels and websites and that, uh. and you can make money off of that too. So you don't have to create a whole app, although it's called an app. Um, maybe if you got a great idea for a widget that we're not producing yet and you can build it and then sell it on the uh, app marketplace. Yes, that one is going to be fantastic. This is basically like WordPress plugins, right? We're, yeah, we're talking exactly. about yeah. additions to the builder, um, mm -hmm. which is really, really exciting. And this next one I'm super pumped on, which is domain buying and reselling right inside of high level. I hate having to go... <laughs> Just thinking of how Google Domain sold to Squarespace or whoever just gives me anxiety, right? Like I oh, hate yeah. having to go deal with domain stuff. I want it in high level and we're super close to that being a reality. Yeah. And for those of you wondering, we are going to include DNS records and all the things. So it's not just going to be like a basic thing. You'll be able to do some advanced functionality in there too. Absolutely. Um, yep. I think... Again, it's just going to be so nice to have it all in one place. And with the domain wizard, setting up domains on funnels and websites is now super easy. And we're just going to bring it all into one lovely little tab. 
and uh, and this is unofficial, but I think you've heard me pushing for this, and I think I think we're gonna get it done. You know, we've got URL redirects. Maybe yep. we could shorten those URLs. <laughs> Maybe we could get some tracking on those redirects. I think all of this stuff is probably in play. So very excited about what's going on with domains. Um, so is this is Charles, right? Pinnacle? Yeah. Charles, Charles is super Jeff. pumped as well. He needs us badly. We all do. Um, you know, I think most of us are domain hoarders, if we're going to be honest. Buying domains all the time. It's going to be awesome <laughs> to have them in one place. And to be able to mark them up and resell them to your customers if you want, uh, which is fantastic. Yeah. So... Short week this week. It is because of our big summit coming up in just a few weeks now, right? Are we 38 days, something like that? 38 days. Um, there are only a few tickets left. Literally, I had somebody ask yesterday about um, a VIP ticket and or no, that was two days ago. There were only 11. So I'd imagine that number's lower today. Uh, if you are thinking about coming and you're still on the fence, you need to go get your ticket because they will be sold out in the very near future. Um, I'm pretty sure the hotel is already sold out. Don't worry, there's tons of awesome hotels like right within that block um, or two blocks. So don't worry about that, but I hate to see you miss out. If you don't have a ticket, please don't fly in. This happens every year and it's the saddest thing. People get turned away. The fire marshal will literally not let us have any more people in that don't have badges. Um, and like literally one person flew in from Europe one time and had to get denied and it was a big time bummer so make sure you get your ticket if you want to come before they sell out and if you aren't able to get a ticket this year hang tight for next year don't fly up to dallas um because you will be rejected um <laughs> <laughs> we've got somebody else uh capture your adventures literally went through a nightmare situation with domains and can't wait for this feature we can't wait either the screens are looking great um, when are we getting improvements with the funnel? Oh, every day. So that team is really ramping up. Super excited about a bunch of new um, additions to the builder. If you haven't seen the new pre-built sections that dropped, what was that last week? Yeah. Um, I am absolutely loving those. Check them out. Big shout out to Goose and Son who helped us get those designed and built. Um, so yeah, the builder, super excited about where that's going for sure. And I believe that wraps us up for the week. Ryan, you want to take us out? All right. Uh, stay safe on Friday the 13th, everybody. I hope you have a great time. And uh, anybody that's uh, inhaling the smoke that Southern California is producing, I, I hope that it goes away very soon. Sorry about that. Oh, no. That's a bummer. Yeah. And uh, if you're heading to POD Live, I'll see you in Tampa next